Hey guys, how's it going? Phil here from PRC Taping again with another video for you. Today I'm going to be talking about the Columbia Tools line of nail spotters. nail spotters that come in two sizes, a two inch and a three inch. They're both super handy. I would suggest having both if you're going to use nail spotters. We're going to get into a few features now on these nail spotters. So both the two and the three inch nail spotters come with a skid plate that can be removed and you can put wheels on it, which I've done for both of my nail spotters here. It's super easy. You just have a couple nuts on the end, you pull the skid plate off and you pop the wheels on. Just make sure you oil those up good before you use them, but I really like the wheels on the nail spotters. It runs really smooth on the wall. Um, personal preference, you don't need to. Uh, you can run it without, but I personally like having wheels on the nail spotters. So what you can do with these nail spotters is you can actually adjust them for the amount of mud flow. So what I've done is I've left it at the factory settings. I feel like it's a nice tight skim. I do three coats on all of my screws. So, but if you wanted to adjust, you can. There's these three nuts right here. You loosen them and then you basically adjust it. Right now they have it set so that you just touch the edge of the blade, which is perfect. You can't really see it in the video, but um, you want to have a little bit of mud, but you don't want it to be too much because then you're going to be sanding between coats too much. So uh, I like to have a nice tight skim on those because you're only filling the screw hole. And again, I do three coats on that. So in terms of what handle to use on your nail spotter, you can use the Columbia one handle or you can use the twist lock handle. I'm really, really fond of the Columbia twist lock handle. I really like them. But if you're doing really, really tall ceilings, the twist lock handle comes in really handy, like a 12 foot ceiling or something like that. Um, but the Columbia one handle is a more secure handle when you're doing walls. So when you're pushing and you use uh, maybe a thicker mud for your nail spotter, you can really push with the Columbia one handle, but any of those will work on these nail spotters. Talking about mud consistency for nail spotters is going to be very dependent on the mud you're using. I use machine mud here and um, I like to have my mud maybe like a box consistency, which is maybe one full sponge per pail. Again, that's going to really be determined by the mud you're using. So you don't want it to be too thin. You definitely don't want it to be too thick. You want a little bit of water in there so it's easy to push on the wall. So there's a gasket here. You want to make sure you oil that up before you use it. Um, and you can see that it's spring tension right now. So you're pushing on that. Make sure it's nice and oiled up as well as the wheels like I mentioned before. So like I said, I do three coats on all my screws. I start with a two inch, and then I do the second coat with a two inch again, and then I switch to the three inch for my final skim. Now there's no set rules. You can use the two inch for first coat, and then two coats with the three inch, or you can use the three inch for first coat. It doesn't really matter. Um, again, as long as your mud consistency and your mud flow set on these nail spotters is your desired amount. So what I see a lot of people do is they run their three inch nail spotter on inside 45 no coats. So if you have your mud flow set a little bit thicker, um, leaving a little bit more mud, you can actually coat the inside 45s of a no coat with a nail spotter, which is pretty handy. So that's a quick look at the Columbia line of nail spotters. It comes with a two inch and a three inch, and I've had these ones for years, and they're still holding up great, and they do take a beating. So thanks for checking this out, guys.